In this presentation, we will enter adjusting entries related to notes payable and interest. We will enter that journal entry in the general journal on the left and post it to the worksheet on the right, the worksheet in order, assets in green, liabilities in orange, equity in light blue, revenue and expenses in dark blue. We are in balance, debits equaling the credits indicated by the green zero, currently have net income of 700,000, revenue minus expenses, and on the side, of course, after this adjustment, we've got the uh, 690,460. What we're trying to show here is the, the idea that if uh, someone didn't have the amortization table for the recording of the payments of a loan, they could have two options. Uh, for example, here's our loan. We've got the $100,000 loan. The interest rate is 9% and there's 36 payments on the loan. So our payment amount is 3,180. Now, oftentimes we don't have the amortization table unless we create it. So if we're working with someone that didn't have the amortization table or we didn't have the amortization table, or if we wanted to set up a system to make the recording of the payment as easy as possible, our options uh, would be, well, we know when we make a payment, we're gonna credit cash for this amount. We could debit either the note payable or we could debit uh, interest expense. Now, if we were to set up a system to make it as easy as possible for the someone entering the data without having to do anything much else, make it the system, the payment all the same every time. So all they have to do is write a check and the system will just record the same payment. Then we would want to record it probably to notes payable preferably. And what that would do is it means if they, even if they had the amortization table, they would have to break out interest and principal in different proportions with each payment because that's how it works so it's we can't standardize the, the each payment each month then as easily so what we could do is say hey just every time you make a payment just make a payment and it'll go to notes payable and then we'll fix it periodically that would be an adjusting entry part of the system they may just post it to wherever they end up posting it and we have to go fix it so it's possible that they make a payment and then the other side goes to notes payable but it's also possible that they make these payments and they just record the other side to interest expense as if it's all interest expense and none of it was principal. So that's the other option. So that's what we're gonna assume here. If we look at what happened, we say, hmm, okay, well, the note was on the books for 100,000. The detail shows interest expense and like the GL, the data, shows that they made these three entries, debiting interest expense and crediting cash. That's what's happened so far. And what should have happened, of course, if it was uh, you know perfectly done, is they should have done, uh, according to this amortization table, breaking out the interest expense in these proportions, the payment, interest, and principal in these proportions. And that would lead us to an ending balance in the note payable of 92,655, whereas we have 100,000 here. So what we're gonna do is just fix this now. So obviously what happened is the interest is too high because it should be this plus this plus this for three payments or 2,195 and it's at 9,540 because all of the principal was applied to it. So our adjusting entry then is to bring this to our payment after those three payments, 92,655 and bring this to the proper interest which will be this plus this plus this or 2,195. So to do that, we're gonna say, okay, well, the, this note needs to be going down because we need to bring it down to this 92 something. It's got a, a credit in it, so we're gonna do the opposite thing to it. We'll, we'll debit the note. So I'm gonna right click and copy the note payable. We'll put that up top in B12, right click and paste one, two, three. Now the journal entry we could, or the amount will be 100,000 minus what we want it to be, which is this 92, 655. And that's gonna be our adjustment that we're gonna have here. Then we're gonna credit the same amount, which is also the amount, of course, that we need this to go down by. In other words, with the interest should be this 750 plus the 732 plus the 713 or 2,195. So it should be 2,195 and minus the 9540 that's there, it should go down by uh, 7,345. So it's at a, a debit, we're gonna do the opposite to make it go down, credit it to what it should be. We'll copy interest expense, 
I'm gonna put that on the bottom in B13, right click and paste, one, two, three. Gonna indent, home tab, alignment, increase indenting. And then we'll post this out and see if it does what we think it should. What do we think it should do? We think this amount should be here and this amount should go down to that, 2,195. So we'll post the uh, note payable. Here's the note payable, here's the note payable. We're in the middle column, H6 equals. We'll point to that 7,345, bringing it down to the 92,655. And then the other side's gonna be the interest expense. Here's interest expense, something's in it. So we'll double click on it, go to the end of it, plus and point to that 7,345 and enter. So that puts us back in balance, puts this interest amount to the sum of these three numbers, 2,195. And of course that affects net income, bringing net income down. So what, we've, what was done originally is it was all put into expense, increasing the expenses by too much because some of it was principal, lowering income by too much. So we lowered the expense, which increased net income, and then we brought down the portion that was related to the principal, now matching what's in the uh, amortization schedule.